All right, we're almost to the boss, boys. We're almost there. <sighs> and I, I'm kind of dreading the boss, to be honest, because... Oh, the boss. I've never beaten the boss in any of my playthroughs without at least dying like 10 times. Yes, because this, this boss is very different than every other boss in the entire Dark Souls series. It is very difficult. It requires a lot of patience and tactics and timing to do it right. And as you know, I'm not very patient. I don't really think things through too much. And I'm not very good at really anything at all. So yeah, this might be a problem. I'm also not gonna go in there. That's where the Titanite Demon is, and he's actually very, very, very strong. And can potentially kill me in like two hits, even with this armor. So yeah, I'm not gonna face him. Stairs, yep, there's a guy guarding chest. I'm also pretty sure there's a shortcut we can open up to get up here. Oh god, oop! Guy there. What do you do? What, what are you trying to stab me? You're trying to stab me from all the way over there? Yeah, I man, your spear thing is not that long. You're gonna have to come a little bit closer if you wanna stab me, sir. You're still gonna have to come a little bit closer. Sorry, sir. You tried your best, but honestly, your best uh, was really, really good at all because all that shit was very, very, very unintelligent, man. I think you need to go back to school and learn some geometry and how, you know, the physical word, w world works for you. You know, they put you on guard duty, huh? Let's at least open the store before we uh, do shit with this shortcut. I mean, try to fight this guy because I don't want to die embarrassingly and have to walk th all the way through this again. Oh, he delayed it. What a dickhead. Oh my god. Can you stop it, please? Thank you. And also, there's a bunch of dragon heads on the wall. I dare. Oh, bleh, I'm gonna die. That's fine. Because one of the bosses that we fight is a dragon slayer. A literal dragon slayer. They have killed. Yeah, this, this many dragons. And also the other guy's a cannibal, who eats people. And also it's the executioner, so yeah, we're we're dealing with some very, very bad people, aren't we? <laughs> it was silver knight armor, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll switch over to that at one point, because I'm pretty sure it's almost as good as elite knight armor, but slightly better, and only weighs slightly more, right? Yeah, it is a lot better. I'll wear it, sure, why not? Uh, but is it going to affect my rolling is the question. Oh, I'm fat rolling now. What if I take off the shield? Alright, I'm normal rolling now, and I got some pretty good defense right now. I mean, it's not that much of a defense increase. I'm pretty sure I'm walking slower now because your movement speed's based on your equip load and how good it, good it is. But I don't think it's that dramatic of an increase. I think I'll be fine with this. I also want to go downstairs real fast and level up. We need to be prepared as we possibly can for this boss fight. I look kind of ridiculous though with this on. I kind of don't like the helmet. I think I'm going to switch out the helmet because I really don't like the helmet. It makes you look completely ridiculous. And it's so skinny, it's like, how is my head even wearing this, man? Like, how does this work? What the? There's no way that would fit on my head. What the hell does my head like have like shifting properties where it can just you know, be whatever it wants? It looks pretty good. I don't like the Silver Knight armor, though, like the chest piece. It looks kind of, uh, it's a little bit overwhelming, that's the right word. Back to this room and level up if we can. Also pop that soul from before. Gonna be able to level up a lot from this. Yep, twice. Nice. Alright, it's time to at least try to face off the boss today. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat the boss today, because I've recorded it. I've, I've been recording for a long while now, so I don't know if we're going to be able to beat the boss today. Probably not, because like I said before, I've never really beaten the boss without dying at least ten times. Go away. But you know what? I think my skills have increased a lot. Oh, I thought I'd be able to kill him with one hit with my parries now after upgrading my decks. That's kind of disappointing. I can just take the shortcut up, but I'm going to do it the cool man's way, because I'm a cool cucumber dude. Oh man, come on, I can do it. I can do it the cool way. <laughs> I'm a cool cucumber. And this area is actually not that interesting. People like Andor Londo because how it looks, but honestly, level design wise, this area is not that great. It's great visually wise, but 
is just a series of tightrope walks and corridor ores and enemies that are not that interesting, so yeah. That's kind of a bland in area if you think about it in terms of level design. And here we are. The boss is right beyond that door over there. A few more things we can do, and also we can summon a guy from there apparently. I think that's Solaire, but no. Summoning guys for Ornstein Smoke is for casuals, even though I uh, summoned a lot of guys in uh, a lot of my playthroughs, but not my first playthrough. I got done my first playthrough, so in my other playthrough I was like, you know what, I beat these guys legit once. Let's just summon a guy and get this over with. Why not? All right, let's go over here. Because I want to go over here first where we handle the boss. Yeah, we're definitely not going to, you know, beat the boss today, I don't think. Right way. Sometimes they fall off here. You have to go all the way around. It's kind of annoying. All right, got it right that time. Good. Oh, a great bow. Plunging attack! Oh, he died instantly. Damn, that nigga got fucked. All right, can open this shortcut. Oh, hello. Um, no, 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 no. I'm just, just opening the door, good sir. Aha. Uh -huh. You can't, you can't fit through that door because you are too fat and big and dumb. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh, don't try to stab me like that. Oh, I think the other guy's coming for me now. I need to kill you fast, I need to kill you fast, I need to kill you fast. Ooh. Nope, I thought I got in range. I didn't know he was going to attack me because he was behind me, but he didn't attack me. Good. I like my cape on my outfit, though. But the cape doesn't even move. I'm kind of used to Dark Souls 3 physics where my cape be flying around in the wind, but my cape is just glued to my back, I guess. It doesn't want to fly around. <sighs> okay. You can stop me. You can miss me with that gay shit. That's right, get out of here with that gay shit. You could just, you know, use your wings to save yourself, but I guess that would just, you know, not be very good for inserting your dominance over someone if you had to use your pitiful wings to fly up and save yourself, I guess. Oh, oh right, the blacksmith. I forgot there's a giant blacksmith here. Get out of here. Thank you. I'm sorry that I, you know, brought this violence into your, your little humble uh, smithy, but he started it, all right. I'm pretty sure yeah, he's guarding a chest back there. It's hard to get to if you don't kill him, but it's possible. I don't think I care about that though. I'm pretty sure that ring increases damage from bows, but I don't really care about that, so I'm fine with this. Uh, I'm pretty sure he can't do anything that good for me because he doesn't actually, I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, you can. Ooh, but they're really expensive. This will sell you some. Oh. Man, why all your shit so expensive, boy? Jesus. Ah, uh, right, the giant armor. That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure some pieces have more defense than Havels. But it's also much heavier than Havel's, too. Oh, you can buy twinkling stuff. I forgot to even buy the stuff from him. I thought you could only get twinkling stuff from the crystal lizards. But yeah, all this stuff is super expensive. I mean, why not? I'm probably gonna end up losing all my souls anyway. I make friends with all the blacksmiths. All the blacksmiths are cool dudes, man, because they help you get through the game and not die as much, huh? So blacksmiths are cool. Even if he's a giant, he's a cool dude, all right? I'm not gonna be giant-phobic just because because giants are scary and less intelligent and stuff, no. I mean, those remarks in and of itself are kind of giant-phobic, but you know what? Don't don't think about it too much. All right, before we go and face the boss, there's one thing I want to do. I want to open that big door just because I can. Stop trying to stab me just because you can. Because you, you can't. I was about to say you can't, but you immediately stabbed me. When I said you can't stab me, which is just not cool. Respect my boundaries, all right? All right, these guys are actually a lot more tough, and I'm pretty sure they drop 3,000 souls, which is a lot, but they're also a lot tougher, and they die! Oh, I forgot how fast they run! Jesus, Solaire, save me! Oh my god, they can... Oh, I didn't think he would jump down. They can smooth! And also, they can heal themselves, and they can do all kinds of crazy shit that their brethren couldn't do, because they're the royal guards. They're guarding the royal area, and they, 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 they don't play. Yeah, these dudes do not play. They do not play. They run around at full speed, and they hurt. Oh, and they, yeah, they, 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 they don't play. I'm just gonna go through here, and oh, <laughs> I don't even have time to discuss why this is a bad idea, do I? Oh, let's just get this started. Oh, you'll see. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, it's time for Ornstein and Smell. Now, if you're anybody, 
You, once you heard the names C and Smo, you already know. Yeah. Shit's about to get real. Yep, here are the dynamic duo. The hardest boss in the entire world. Ornstein and Smo. I'm fast as fuck, baby. Pretty sure you can't parry any of them, by the way. Like I said before, you can only parry the final boss, which is just shot. Forgot about his running hammer underhand attack of not good. He throws lightning. Yeah, they have all kinds of moves. You have to fight two guys at once. And this giant hammer and a giant spear. And they all have so many moves to fuck you up with. It's just not cool. And I'll skip. Almost got smacked with a giant hammer. This guy's about to rush me. So, we need to think of strategy right now. Oh, so you may think we want to go for the big guy first. So he's a bigger target. But no, that's a terrible idea. Because if his friend gets behind him... You know, classic Dark Souls stuff will happen, and he will stab through his friend's body to get to you. It's kind of bullshit, but yeah. Oh, 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 I dodged a bit too early. Ah, oh, what? Too early again? Are you kidding me? Leave me alone. Right, but his friend moves a lot slower than he does. It means we can separate them a lot easily. And also he does attacks like that where he can... Oh, where he can, uh... Rushed you from halfway across the room. So we want to be focusing on the small guy first and focusing on the big guy. And we want to focus them because they go to a second phase after you uh, kill one of them. And the other one gets all their health back. So there's no reason to try to kill both of them at once. I wonder if it's even possible to kill both of them at once and just like ends the boss fights. That's a cool information thing to know. I need to separate them though or it's impossible. Because if I try to hit one... Uh oh. What are you... Hello there. Doing? Oh, what did did bit change gears and start flying at me from halfway across? Um, okay, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Oh, oh he's doing the running. <laughs> Ow, that hurt, dude. Come on, that hurt my feelings. Oh, uh, god. All right, that did not do much damage at all. Ah, ow. This is not going well. Ah. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh my god, I barely did any damage with that hit. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. Halo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's coming at me. Nope. What the hell? Your friend is teleported. What? Okay. I right, keep an eye on both of them at the same time. Unless you want to get destroyed. Don't go for the hit right now. It's fine. You might have to be fast rolling for this, possibly. Might have to take some stuff off, but we need a lot of defense because they hurt a lot. Even with this much stuff, I'm almost dying constantly. I'm already down to two, four flasks. Oh, there's no way I'm doing this. Alright, stay away. We did some good damage on Ornstein there. Nice. Where the hell are you going, fat boy? You probably shouldn't call him fat. I mean, he's gotten fat from, you know, eating people. That's kind of impressive because... I don't even think people, you know, people have that much nutritional value. How'd you get fat at, off of eating people, you fat dickhead? And it's also kind of weird that we don't even have that much nutritional value despite, you know, being, ow! You know, humans, we're kind of smart people and we require a lot of nutrition ourselves to stay alive, but shockingly, we ourselves don't even get that much, ah, don't even give that much nutritional value. Don't ask why I know that. I swear, I'm not a cannibal. Ah! Oh, you know why I'm talking about goddamn cannibalism I'm trying to fight the hardest boss in the entire world. Okay, bait the fat guy, do his hammer swing. Bye, Go for it. <laughs> the most annoying part about this fight is that fucking Ornstein is just fucking side hopping the entire goddamn uh, duration of the fight. Constantly just out of range of your swing. Look at that. You fucking every single time you try to do anything with this guy, he just side hops halfway across the room. He's almost halfway dead. That means we're doing decently good, I guess. This is why I want to upgrade my weapon. Even that. Uh, even my weapon upgrade to 10, we're not doing that much damage. Stop it, please. Okay, Ornstein's almost down. If we do this first try, I swear. That was... Ow. Um, what the hell? Alright. Well, if Smo wants to be halfway across the room right now... Oh, he's this time he wanted to join the party. Oh, oh I thought he was stuck on the pillar. Sometimes, ah, sometimes he gets stuck on the pillar and he can't come to help his friend. Uh, this is not going well. I'm already down to one flask, and I have to use it, like, right now. Ah! Uh, stop! 
Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, it, being stabbed from everywhere. All right, so it's okay, it's okay. Everything's going fine. Everything's going well. Stop it. Or, right. oh, he's dead. Ah, no, 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 no. All right, now, I need to switch to humanity because so humanity is pretty much my only way to heal now. All right, you might be able to do this first try. Is this going to be the first time I ever do Orange City and Smell first try? You dickhead, your friend has died, and you decide to go smash him over the head and steal his power. Yeah, Smell is kind of a dickhead. He's kind of the biggest dickhead in all of Dark Souls, not going to lie. He's a cannibal, he eats people, he executes people, and he's kind of a sadist, and he just all around sucks. Now, don't mind me real fast as I try to quickly equip some humanity right now. Also, uh, Divine Blessing. We need some Divine Blessing. I don't have time to mess around my inventory anymore. This guy's currently trying to smash my pussy. Ornstein has a much slower thing, but we need to bait him to attacking if we want to stand any chance. We might be able to do this first try, which is kind of weird because it's been an entire clusterfuck so far. I did not think I'd beat them first try. Oh, oh, that's the one attack you do not want to get hit by. Uh-oh. I forgot that it hurts you if you... Oh, this is a bad time to do this. This takes a lot longer. Yeah, it takes a lot longer to charge up than a normal Estus. <gasps> this hurts a lot. Frick. Oh, that's why you want to be standing just out of range, and we're definitely not going to make this an appropriate pillar to hide behind to pop a humanity to heal instantly. Good. All right. Stop backing up, fat boy. All right. That's a good amount of damage right there. Oh, frick. Oh, that hurt a lot. <gasps> yeah. No, I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. This guy's a dickhead. Run, 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 run. All you can do is run because this isn't fun. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, Smo? Oh, God. That's what's up. It was almost me in the air. All right. Oh, that was a bad time to roll. I need to focus more on my dodging. All right. It's fine. I uh, no, I pushed the wrong button. I pushed the attack button instead of the dodge button. Nah, it's not good. <gasps> no, 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 no. That was not a good time to do that. If you got around that pillar, I would have been so dead. I'm. Ah, frick! I hate when he does that fucking bullshit attack. It's undodgeable if you're too close. Why I do that? It was not a time to do that. I didn't even need the health. I was still, I wasn't even halfway dead yet, so there was no reason to do that. I just wait for him to, yeah. He's almost halfway dead. We might have this first try. This will be the first time ever I've done this first try. All right, got a little glancing strike there. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Come at me, Smo. Smo, more like, I can't think of any swear words or any demeaning words that rhyme with smo. Smo, more like KO, because that's what you're about to be in a second. Ooh, got him. I think what the strategy is if he goes for a ground pound, unlock him and run in the other direction as fast as I can. Right, he's almost dead. Come on, we got this. First try, Ornstein and Smo, question mark? We got this. I swear if I lose now, it's be the most embarrassing thing of all time. You, you, can be, you can keep backing up, bro, but I don't care what you do, Smo. Keep backing up, bro, because I don't give a shit, Smo. All right. Ooh. Come on. All right. I don't know how that hit didn't connect, but it didn't for some reason. Come on. We're so close. Look at that health bar. Look at that health right there. If we lose this, this is going to be the biggest blunder I've had of all time in space. Why does it do that? I've never seen that attack before. Oh, I'm dead. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not going to get around that pillar. What was that attack you just started doing? All right. Why are my attacks not freaking connecting? I'm getting very annoyed by this. Uh-oh. I did not dodge very good at all. I kind of want to be like full health at all times in case something bad happens, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, he's so close. Come on, he's so close. I don't know why he started pulling out new tricks I've never even seen before, but we got this. I don't know how that did not hit, but it didn't, so we're fine. Starting to move faster, he's almost dead. Ooh, look at that health bar. 
Nope, get the fuck out of here with that gay shit, bruh. Get the fuck out of here with that gay shit, bruh. What do you think you doing? No. Wait. Oh, come on. Look at that. Two more hits and he's dead. What's that? I've never seen that before. To stab him. To stab him. He's dead. <gasps> Not even close. Ornstein and Smo. First try, baby. Oh, I've never beat them first try in my entire life. Ooh, I did not see that coming. Oh, I thought I would be dying for sure. All right, time to collect our prize, but we're probably gonna do that in the next one. I cannot even believe this right now. Oh, people always talk about how Orton C and Smo are the hardest boss in all of Dark Souls, man. But you know what? I've died more to, to gargoyles. I've died more to spider thoughts. I've died more to or Did I even die to Taurus Demon? I don't know. Not even once. Not even once. Get owned, nerds. Always making your top 10 hardest bosses in Dark Souls bullshit, but no, I, I, just, I just threw all that out the window with my raw gamer energy. That's right. First try. I should probably make this episode completely unedited so I can just prove to you my complete gamer might. Don't pay attention to how much humanities I have there. Nope, that doesn't, that doesn't prove anything. Nothing at all. Just proves how much of a gamer I am. I'm a little lightheaded from all that, so... It's probably in this episode here, right? So, in the next episode, things are about to get a little bit more crazy. Because now that we beat Orange Sea and Snow, we have proven ourselves to be the real fucking deal. It means we're gonna have to get started on one final last quest to save the entire world or whatever. And also, we might be going towards one of Dark Souls. Actually, I'm pretty sure that Dark Souls 1 only has one DLC, yeah. We might, you know, get into Dark Souls DLC soon, because we're almost at the right level that we need to be in order to handle the DLC of this game. And you thought Ornstein and Smo were hard. No, because I'm almost certain we're not going to beat any of the bosses in the DLC first try. No, so we've only gotten start and not even close to the bottom of this iceberg yet of difficulty. So I hope you enjoy this episode of Dark Souls and in the next one, things are going to get real. Bye bye.